But there's moments where you can just step outside of it and realize like how amazing the creation of music is. It's so amazing. <laughs> That's why I became a musician, because of the high that I got from listening to Henry Rollins, Black Flag, drinking mm. black coffee. Made me feel so alive, so full of everything, so drugged up. I want to make people feel like that. Defunct made me dance like lightning bolts on the dance floor. I want to make people feel like that. That was my number one motivation. And, and the love of my found family, my high school boys, just wanting to hang out with them. But more than anything, it was I heard the message by Grandmaster Flash in The Furious mm. Five. And I just wanted to roll down the street lighter than air. How do I make people feel like that? How can I be a part of something that makes people feel like floating down the street? Mm. It really is. It's, it's a drug. <laughs> it's a super positive, creative drug that makes you incredibly connected to the people that that make it. You know, I mean, I was watching the, uh, I don't know if you've seen the Elvis movie, the new movie on Elvis. Did not. I, Pretty I, interesting. I have my own movie of Elvis in my head that I didn't want to change. Right. But go ahead. I don't think it'll change it. All right. I mean, it's, you know, it's dramatization. It's obviously Tom Hanks is the colonel. You, you're seeing Tom Hanks. That's it's, decent casting. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Oh, he's great in it. He's great in it. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, it leaves out a lot. kind of glosses over a lot of shit. Um, but you realize that the reaction that these people are having to his music, it's like, and, and everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? It's like they're all on drugs. Like mm. all these women are on drugs. They're screaming. They're throwing panties at them. And back then, there wasn't really someone like him before him. You know, so he comes around and they all freak out because it's a new drug. Mm -hmm. And it's this new feeling that you get from this, this creation, this, you know, combination of artists and music and sounds with the, delivered by this one guy. And he's saying, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. And they're all going, Crah! That's what wild. I have been. Wild. That was great. It took me so long to realize how good he was. Part of my, my fuel as a teenager in young 20s was just hate of other people's art. Like, mm. ah, we'll show you. We'll make something different and better. And Yeah. Which is positive. It has to happen. You have to rebel against that which has come before you at a certain point. Yeah. But as I got older, I realized this man is the real deal. As was Little Richard, oh, as yeah. were the Everly Brothers, as were all the boys that led up to Elvis. Sure. <clears throat> Flea and I went to Graceland in the early 80s. We were on tour. We were in a van. We hadn't slept on a bed for months. We, all we had was the leather jackets on our back and nothing else. But we were like in Memphis playing a show, you know, probably in a barn or something. And we're like, didn't Elvis have a house here? Can't we go like go walk through his house? So we went to Graceland when it was not uh, commercialized. It was a very small little tour. You could walk right through the house, into his cars, the garage. There were no restrictions. And I went in there and I was so obnoxious <laughs> and so horrible because all these people were just in awe of every little element of Elvis's life. I was like, isn't this where he took a shit on the toilet and like ah. OD'd on pills? And because I was just a little idiotic punk rocker yeah. who had no broader sense of greatness and how people might be relating to this guy. Yeah. It's just a, a stupid little memory. I feel embarrassed about but that's who i was at the time well that's so normal for young artists to hate on art that they think is uncool or commercial or derivative mm -hmm. like that was the knock on elvis he was der derivative of black culture but what's he gonna do that's what he likes you know he's like he's affected and influenced by those people and he's creating his own music like what is he supposed to do not do it obviously people loved it it was amazing <laughs> You I mean, but I, I get the resentment from those artists. I understand that. But there's, there's a thing from young people coming up where you just want to hate on the things 